my home. So this is my driver's seat. This is a 1988 Chevy Bluebird. She has a 5.9 Cummins diesel engine and came all the way from Arizona. Okay, so right here I have my shoes, I have my fridge over here. I bought this um, when I went to college. It's super small. Right now I have pretty much nothing, but I like having a small fridge because it forces me to keep it clean and to eat everything that's in it. I have my kitchen over here. I just redid the cabinets. If you want to watch my video that I posted on it, there's a video on my YouTube channel of how I redid the cabinets. So this is my uh, entire water source on the bus. I don't have running water. This is all I have for water. So every day I usually carry a jug. Um, and fill it up with water and then I come dump it into this and this is how I get all my water that I use to cook and brush my teeth and wash my hands and all of that. Okay, so like I said, if you want to go watch the YouTube video on how I did these cabinets, you can. pretty much did them with just what I have laying around so they're not like nicely done or anything. It's not a tutorial, but you can see how I did it. Right now, I'm using this as my trash can. It is a uh, compost bin. So my goal is to get a bigger trash can and actually use this as a compost bin, but right now, this works really well. This is kind of a mess right now, but these are these three drawers. Uh, this is kind of like my hardware drawer where I have important stuff. Um, this is my silverware drawer, and this is all where all of my toiletries and everything are. And this is my vanity. So this is what I get ready at in the morning. <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> I have these storage bins which hold all of my... Um, bowls and cups and everything and uh, they are screwed into the wall so those are secure um, and this also uh, is from Ikea and it's a hanging basket and this is another hanging basket and then I have my pants down here the other side is where I keep my single burner um, my rice cooker and like all of my uh, tools. I scored this amazing vintage table off of Facebook marketplace I had intentions to get an Ikea one that folded down like this um, both leaflets open and both can fold down to save me a lot of space in here. I usually keep it open. Um, so I have it anchored to the wall. You can see down there with um, these brackets. So I have brackets on both sides and it's screwed into the wall. Um, and then when I do need to drive, these chairs will be secured as well. So this is my brand new air purifier. So living in this small space with animals, I definitely knew that I had to have one. Um, dust settles so fast in here. If I clean off the surface, literally within two days, it'll be covered in dust again. So this rug is another Facebook Marketplace score. This area in here, I'm gonna try not to record. It's my bathroom area and it's not done at all. Okay, this is my window project. So these little guys open. I thrifted these window shutters for $5 from the thrift store. And then over here I have my glaze storage. So I do a lot of my hand building and my glazing inside of the bus. Even though my studio is outside um, and that's where I do my wheel throwing. Um, it's just too messy to bring inside right now. The clay dust is too much. This is my amazing medicine cabinet that my grandpa made me. Um, inside, you can see I have all of my essentials, vitamins, and all of the bunnies' um, medical stuff. So um, this is kind of a mess right now. I usually try to keep it more organized, but this is my amazing vintage pie safe that I also found on Facebook Marketplace. Me and my sister drove like two hours to pick this up. Um, it is super old and um, this is all of my pantry items as well as a bunch of bunny stuff because that just takes over my entire life. Um, but for this I added in uh, these clips which uh, keep the doors from swinging open and everything from falling out when driving. So this is my most current project. This is um, going to be my couch area. I thrifted this cushion uh, for how much did it? We paid eight dollars for this. We got this. I'm gonna put pillows and stuff on it and make it like a proper couch. So I'm really excited about that. And I mean, I could actually sleep on this. And then I have my bed area. So my bed frame is made out of pallets. My side table is a wooden crate, but this is actually secured with screws into the bed frame and the wall. My blanket is thrifted as well. Um, the rest of my bedding is from Urban Outfitters. I tried to invest in nice bedding because 
I have bought so much bedding just in the time that I'm in college that I really wanted something that was going to last. So I don't have any curtains on my windows yet except for these that I brought from college. Um, this is my AC. It's um, just a window unit, an LG window unit. Um, and it does a pretty good job of keeping up. When it's anything below 70 out, I shut it off. This is the emergency exit. Um, so this pulls up and opens up to enjoy the beautiful view. <laughs> yeah, Kylie made it for me. Anyways, I do have electricity in the bus. <laughs> I have one two, three, four outlets, and I've never had a problem with plugging too many things in and cutting the electricity out or anything. And thank you so much for coming and seeing my bus and how I live out here. Thanks. Bye, thank you. Let <laughs> me stop recording. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I have a, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> My hammer and my several hammers. <laughs> Two hours to make this up. You might want to redo that. My hammer seal. I thrifted this cushion. 